Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to RimWorld. Oh, this is going to be fun. We have a raid on the way that is pretty damn big, if I remember correctly. Here it is, Quiet Thumbros, but it's going to be like over 30 people. Twice. Uh, but we'll get Reviving Serum, which we do actually have. So should we see if we can get somebody up who's actually dead? Oh, it's only Trig, isn't it? Uh, do we, have, do we have the reviving serum? I swear we got given up early. I just thought it'd be in here somewhere. Oh my god, is that the Elix shirt? Is that finally worn out? It has. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Okay, well, wait a minute. I swear I remember seeing that come in. So what I'm going to try and do for this invasion is uh first i'm going to build more of these things because i have a funny feeling these granite sprite traps might be the saving of my life where is security there it is security spike trap let's make them out of granite i'm just gonna keep this this sort of idea going for a little bit here I'm kind of worried they're going to take cover here. But then, volume of fire-wise, there's a lot more fire coming this way. I mean, what's the range on these things? Yeah, they're going to be shooting out of there. It's a shame we don't have any bigger turrets. What are we researching right now? Fabrication. I believe we needed fabrication to get the bigger turrets, right? This music is amazing, by the way. Just saying. Oh, no, we didn't. Auto cannon turret. Probably should have gone for something like that. I think it would have made a bit of a big... It would have made quite the big difference in something like this. In fact, can I just start doing that now? That's Ryan hat. Hold on. Bear in mind he's had his brain smashed. Ratty apparel? Hey, why have we got ratty apparel on? What, what are you wearing that you shouldn't be? Oh, you picked up the Elix vest. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Are you not supposed... To, are you not supposed to... Oh, he has the shield belt forced on him. Uh, I could have sort of changed it so he shouldn't wear that shirt, but okay, whatever. We'll we'll work through it. It'll be fine. Still have these thrombros. I think they're doing okay. Yeah, blood rot is a pain in the butt, but. At least we only have to deal with them for a certain amount of time. How long do we actually have to keep them for? Still arrives in 4.9 days. That's alright, the countdown activator for this opens in bloody 1.7 days. I just hope that this doesn't blow holes in walls. That's all I'm saying. That could be really bad. How long have we got left to just defend this thing for? Keep monument for 1.3 days! Okay, and we're on low food. Of course we are. Of course. to the husky oh yeah had left eye bitten out by the mega sloth i forgot about that well i don't think we're that low on food but then again should i prepare to get more food now what are you guys doing oh you're, you're all okay you're all okay probably because they're all eating my food out of my fridge that's usually how it works you know, the comments I get was like, mm, you do realize your animals are eating all your food, right? I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoops. Three idle colonists. And uh, yes, yeah, all the people who can't do anything. Don't worry, you're going to have fun soon. One of you is going to be the sacrificial set off the mechanoids, people. I just hope that there's enough defenses in these walls to withstand an assault. I'm worried there isn't. Hmm. I don't really think of anything I could do to increase the security of this place, though. I mean, we've got traps, we've got turrets, we've got barricades. I could change these, these out for actual sandbags instead of barricades. I'm pretty sure barricades are worse than sandbags. I can't, I can't remember. They might be the same in terms of actual defensive value. Let's speed this up here, some rhinos out there, we could try and kill the rhinos. 
Work frenzy. You can't work. Oh, for the love of God. That's just. That's just, these guys coming here, stealing my supplies, eating all my food, getting shot by a minigun turret. We'll just pretend that never happened. Visitors? Oh, hello. A group of godos are visiting the colony. Hello? Who is the best speaky speak here? Speaky speak. Sylvie. Oh, like my, uh, my new stream. Why is it with Sylvie always been the good talker? How does that work? That reminds me. I, I did a uh, three hour stream of Rimworld on Twitch the other day. Uh, the. <laughs> The frozen psycho cannibals. Uh, if anyone's interested in me uploading that to YouTube, I might try and find a day to upload it to. That they still going technically. Nobody like died, which is a surprise. I know. Oh wait, no, somebody did die. We just all didn't die. Uh, what are you selling here? They have panoxicillin. They have a chain shotgun. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Might just trade away. Some of this stuff, like the toques. Yeah, do you know what? Let's just throw some hats at him. Oh, oh wow! Hang on, I had three normal. I had three good toques. There we go. I will take your money for my money room. Look, we have a money room. Oh, also known as a treasury. I got told off for calling it a money room. <laughs> it's a menu. It's, it's the room full of money. A treasury would have, like, you know, ledgers. <laughs> and very bored looking staff. Or potentially goblins. Of some description. Can Portly at least get behind? Oh, animal outside. I know I've got you on unrestricted, but really? Really? I guess they've run out of food to eat back here, because it's all... Yeah, and all this is growing again. It's seven degrees outside, it's not too bad. Maybe it'll be alright. Well, I'll have to, if, as soon as the raid comes, I'm definitely going to have to get them into safety, otherwise they're all going to die. This raid is going to suck so bad. <sighs> I don't know, right, if they come, will they attack this on their own, or do I have to attack it to wake it up? And then, it's pot luck as to whether it attacks us, or it attacks the raiding party. I mean, technically it's going to do both, if it somehow manages to survive. But that's going to be fun. Uh, I think we'll be okay. I could feel so much more comfortable if there was more cover. I might build another wall in the middle here, just for cover of people. Problem is, there's nowhere for people to be in this room, really. I mean, if they take cover anywhere, I suppose they can take cover here and here. But if the turret explodes, they're dead. Pretty much. But we do have we do have our secret weapon, which is Trig 2.0 with his plasma sword. I should I know what I was told. You know what? Let's just go into the manage outfits. Select outfit, soldier. Why are you not wearing armor? Hey, armor. Yeah, he should. I'm guessing that's because he's decided that the stuff that's available that isn't that is better. Um, what is he wearing? What are you wearing, Mr. Big? Let's have a look, see, shall we? Gear. He is wearing a parka. I am guessing the armor goes in the same slot as the parka. Which could be a problem. Uh, 
Yeah. I don't really want to make it be like, oh, you can't wear that. I'm just going to have to force him to wear it. I'm like, fine, you can force to wear the damn thing. Which is the better set? They're both normal. We also need to get him a helmet. I forgot about that. Uh, somebody earlier was saying, make a helmet. Uh, yeah, we're making one more piece of armor. Can we make a helmet of some description? Oh, we can make a crown. We can make a simple helmet. Okay, well, we'll make three simple helmets. Ryan's still working on that piece of plate armor. Now, I think, well, I'm under the impression that plate armor has really bad thermals. I don't know why. Uh, it does cover everything. And it does have pretty high resistances. It's just that it's going to slow him down. And without a helmet, I'm worried he'll just get one shot in the head. He's just had to take off all his clothes. I don't think so. I think it's just the parka. Oh, it's not quick to put on armor then. Oh wow, I looked out the window and there's basically a monsoon out there. Holy hell. Yeah, it's raining in the UK right now. <laughs> I mean, it's slowed him down. It's supposed to have slowed him down, but uh, he appears to be moving at the exact same speed as before. Huh. Does the armor cover his legs? I, I think I read it that it covered everything. Yes, it does. Okay. This will be good. Maybe this will be good. I don't know. I imagine the flak stuff is better when you're being shot at. We kind of learned a few things. Oh, I forgot about it. I forgot about my indoor hydroponics. Okay, food probably not as bad as I think it is. Especially with all this growing outside now. For, for now, anyway. This volcanic winter's lasted a while, hasn't it? I'm getting confused wondering what Ryan's actually doing, but he's cleaning. I should probably make him so he crafts more than he cleans, temporarily. I kind of want him to be crafting this stuff now. Uh, where are you, Ryan? Ryan! Oh, he's set to one craft. Why is he not crafting? I guess because there's other stuff further up the list that is more important. That has been tagged as one. But either that or he's going mad working on the same thing. The visitors are leaving and the countdown activator expires in 23 hours. Keep the monument for 13 hours. Good. Eventually, I'm, I, that's just going to die. It's fine. I don't see those reviver things anywhere. Makes me wonder if I actually got them yet. I could have sworn it gave them to me as a reward for just accepting the quest. But there's been a week since then, so I don't actually remember. Oh dear. About that Sid has just gone to sleep inside Ari Ammon's room. Oh my god. Sid, you're huge. What is what are you doing? We, we literally are just waiting right now. Oh, thank God, all of the all the greenery's come back. Okay, wildlife. You are uh, not animals. So animals, not wildlife. I need all of you to go back into animals. Thank you very much. Now all the mares and things. Mark can be unrestricted. There we go. Oh, at least, wait, what was wrong with Cecilia? Why was she hurt? Don't remember. Oh, Mega Sloth, probably. I'm just going to take an assumption that it was a Mega Sloth. That's usually how that works. I don't think I've seen anyone. I, I could probably get rid of this, actually. I don't think I've seen anyone play the piano yet. Or use the snooker table. I'm going to deconstruct that wooden horse pin, though. That thing's going to get people killed. If I get attacked getting pl like, the playing in the middle of the kill box? Oh my god, we're in trouble. 
Oh, this was where I was supposed to be putting batteries. To power the guns. I remember. All I have to do is break the circuit and then put power in here. Put a switch. Uh, power, batteries. Wait, where do I want the batteries? Where do I want to put the switch? I think there, and then if we put the batteries... Like so? That should mean there's a backup of three batteries attached to this switch that we can turn off and on. Assuming it doesn't explode, break, kill us all. I thought that is... Oh, no, that is the closest. Oh, there's like a cable going through here, all the way over here. It's like somebody drilled a hole. Neek, all the way through. Perfect. Oh, we ran out of beds up here? Oh my god, we have too many animals. Too many animals. Ryan like dying. I feel like he should be probably dying. He's been working on that solid for the entire time. Oh, yay. There we go. Build complete. Make plate armor. Ah, oh, all normal quality. There was me holding on hope for a masterwork, you know. Uh... Okay, that's a... Oh, we have a helmet. Why did the whole... Why did all of the lights... You have a poor helmet. A poor helmet, really? <sighs> I mean, it might protect his head if he gets shot in the head, I suppose. So, you know, the worst case scenario. There we go. Trick the soldier. He's the only one with a bloody sword, so, you know, we've got to be a little bit careful with him. I guess I'll be trying to get cataphract armor and stuff like that next, or at some point, if I somehow survive. Ew, he's cold though. Oh, he's getting a beer, so he can't be that unhappy. Man, do you want to, like, not do that? I know I said force you to do it. What are you addicted to? Oh, alcohol. You can go and eat. There we go. All the, all the snow's melting, no! Okay, countdown activated 12 hours. We've got six idle colonists, that would be all of their soldiers. Are you all armed in some way or another? Yes, good. Two hours left on that monument. Why do people keep going in here? Zone? Let's remove, let's clear this as a home zone. Last thing I need is people being caught outside with the pants down for <laughs> the uh, the mechanoids come and kill us all. Or mechs. Are they mechanoids? Mechs? What are they? Me mechanoids? Uh, mechanoids specialised in long range efforts. Yeah, me mechanoid. Yeah, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't losing my mind. Wow. He can survive up to minus 100. Jesus Christ. And it can... And plus 250! Well... What do you think? Anything above that in this game? I think all your humans are going to be dead before the mech is. Guys, can you just not go in here? Oh, is that it? Are we done? Oh! We finally did it, guys! We finally did this quest! Holy crap! Alright, there we go. People stop going out bloody side. Unless I want you to de-roof it so I can tear it down. Now the time? Is now the time? No, not really. It's a small problem that it kind of has a little bit of... 
cover for an enemies and things if they come at us from that angle. I doubt they will, but you never know. Okay, here it is. Oh. <laughs> There's only a couple of them. I believe they're coming straight away, you know. Oh my god, right, okay, everybody battle stations. Who wants to go poke the bear? <laughs> oh no. Celia maybe? No. I mean, Sylvie's got a sniper rifle, but I don't want to leave her outside the base without... Oh. You know, Narwhal. I think Narwhal's got balls. I think we'll send Narwhal. Everybody else. Okay, so we definitely need Trig up here. Trig, and then uh, Ryan, keep him out of combat. Kind of want to keep everyone who isn't a soldier out of combat. Sylvie. Uh, where's Celia? I don't see her. There she is. And area one's got a lot of power, so maybe we will take these. Here they come. Here they bloody come. This is gonna get scary. Come on, guys. Now, if they dig into the side of the base, we really are screwed. That's something I didn't think of. you at least come in through the front door I didn't read if they were sappers or not uh oh well I think I know where they're going uh... quick run Wait, can I cast through walls? No. <laughs> you, know, you knew that was a good idea, right? Uh, skip dust with the ground okay. particles. Reduces the accuracy of enemy shot fired through it and prevents turrets from locking on entirely. Okay. They don't have... They have a few ranged characters in there. They've got a lot of ranged characters, not going to lie. There is not much cover here. I'm feeling very uncomfortable. I hold that open, I'm in so much trouble, right? Oh, we get out of here. We need we need that rifle of yours. What the fuck? Okay, they're coming this way as well. Well, you didn't last very long. <laughs> ah! Uh, fun, fun, fun. Dead. Okay. I'd really like to wake up those mechanites. Thanks. I don't think it's actually worth my time. Do you know what? Actually, I've realised that these guys are over here, aren't they? Actually, no, they will, they'll die before they get there. Uh, I want to keep those guys for the turrets. Uh, for the mechs, even. Oh, there's too much going on. I can't watch both. Oh, blubby. Get the hell, Ryan. Here we go. Ah, oh, can I get... I don't see it. You! You're berserk now. I'm to trig. Oh, he's been stabbed in the right arm. That's not good. Yeah, you better run. Blow a hole in the side of my bloody hospital. Admittedly, that could have gone. That could have gone a lot worse. There's no denying that that went very, 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 very well. Uh. Oh, his right leg's been cut off. Oh, so could, maybe we could save him, but no. I need you to go into the hospital, Drake, because you are. Uh, well, probably one of the best fights we have right now. 
That sword of his is lethal. He has taken a bit of a hit, though. It seems weird that that did so much damage, but... I'm gonna go to the hospital, dude. No, he's just grabbing food instead. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm not gonna do it. What was that noise? That was a turret. Do do it. Why are we do dooding? Oh, okay, it's these guys. Oh, Crane, don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, it's fine. I thought he was going to set him off. Just as like a spite. Having realised we have half an hour until they wake up anyway. Can someone come and patch up Trig? Otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Oh, already tending. Okay, never mind. Still be done. Hey, if you do want to wake up, can you wake up now and kill that guy? That'd be nice. <coughs> oh, me voice. Oh, dear. Oh, Ryan and Blubby. God damn it. Sorry, guys. The amount of times I just leave people on bloody... Uh oh Okay. Poop's time. Poop time. Poop time. We really need to build those damn walls, guys. Yeah, whatever. Don't give a damn. Prioritize working on the limestone wall. Go, 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 go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That went really well. Ah! Now wall. Oh my god, please. Ah, yeah, yeah. Everybody back outside. What the hell is going on? Why does everyone want to go outside all of a sudden? Oh. I mean, you guys really want to help. Just think, not even remotely thinking of the amount of damage this is going to cause. Where you going, Blub? Blubby, please stop. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, we have a bit of a mess. You get inside, everyone get helped. Oh god, Ryan and Blobby, get the... Well, this is terrifying. <clears throat> okay, they're safe. <clears throat> oh man. I apologize. I definitely have something caught in my throat right now. It is driving me up the wall. One last news rescue. Chimpanzee. Yeah, we got this. Have we patched up the bloody wall yet? No. Oh my god, please. Kind of important. Well, we got rid of all of the that, like the actual mechs, which, you know, is a step in the right direction. I could rescue that guy, but eh, he hasn't got a leg. It seems kind of pointless if he hasn't got a leg. Tell you the truth. Minigun turret, what happened to you? Whoops! I think our own, our own minigun turret did a lot of damage to these guys. Don't worry, we're gonna send them in to, we're gonna send them in to deal with this in a minute. The gloom light. Can I actually steal the gloom light? That'd be nice. Auto charge turret. I feel like that thing explodes. I was kind of hoping Triggy would be up because he has the shield belt, which is probably very useful against this kind of thing. What was that? Minus 10. Serious 10. Oh god. Corpses. 
ever do hauling. Why are the people who are always awake, never doing the things that I want them to do? You notice how that's a thing? Hey, that's why. Oh my god, get inside, clumsy. Oh god damn it. Been shot in the torso. I thought his right thumb shot off at some point. When did that happen? Slaving away. Mounting down all these new weapons. We're still, we are on low food still. Which is kind of annoying. It's still freezing. Minus 10. Great. So I kind of need to deal with this. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? We have the disposable so soldiers. Kind of need to get the dead people out of the hospital. Now... I don't see an easy way of doing it, you know. This was the issue with putting this out here. <laughs> Maybe I should wall this off and just put a door. Yeah, potato plant died because of the cold. That's not good. Where's Ryan going? Hopefully he's going to get the mechanoid. No, he's going outside. Please stop. Please stop. I could stop him, but secretly I'd, I want to see if he makes it. Oh. Why not allowed? Yeah. I accidentally uh, disallowed the trap that was next to the spear. We have so much uranium. Oh my god. How the hell are we going to deal with that? Those two minigun turrets, well these two auto charge turrets are the main problem. I think I am just going to throw the disposables at it. We'll just see what happens. Let's go, guys. Look at how fast they move. Four guys with spears. How back can this go? Uh... <laughs> Ow. He's been shot. Oh my god, I'm to him. Please take out at least one of them. Well, I didn't get a plan. Where's Sylvie? He's my mechanoid specialist. Oh, Wog. Oh, my God. Wog. What is the range on that thing? Oh, my God. Is that how range the sniper rifle? Oh, my God. It has almost the exact same range as a sniper rifle. Well, that's just absolutely insane. <sighs> what? What are you shooting at? Okay, this is dangerous, by the way. I'm fully aware of that fact. I kind of wish I could... Whoa, Celia, bloody hell. I need to lock that front door. Got people coming out here. This hasn't helped at all. Ah, oh, damn it. How am I going to get a decent firing solution on these guys? I would feel bad about all these tribals on the ground, but you know, they'll survive. Maybe. If I'm quick. Let's see if we can take out that mini slugger with a charge rifle. Yeah, great. You never know. That'd be a really good shot. This is really terrifying. Just saying. 
Ah. You can hit it. It's just taking a little bit of extra effort. I realised I should have ended the episode like five minutes ago, but kind of... I don't want to deal with this mechanoid threat. If we could have... Ah, she's been shot. Damn it. You know what, Sonic? Get out of there. Can I just get the wag out of here right now? Hang on. Let me remind me to put that back on the... Onto Sylvie soon. Uh, and then wag animals go. Get out of here. That was bad timing. Here we go. See? Told you Sylvie's the, the master of destroying these things. It's a slow process, but it works. The charge turrets are the most terrifying thing. So, <laughs> if I can take out those. I think there's two of them. Oh! Okay. See that coming? Oh! Oh my god. What have I done? Ah! I like Moose Sylvie just fired up away, didn't I? That was lucky. That was lucky, I'd have never lived that down. <laughs> Ryan, get out of there, you madman. Oh my god. What is wrong with you people? Can I get a can I get a firing solution on that? Thank you. That's really close. Damn it. Two health really. Oh my god. Anyone wanna rescue these guys? I mean I feel bad if they die. I only kind of, I only really care about my colonists. I'm very selfish like that. I only had two deaths. It wasn't my fault that, uh... Definitely wasn't my fault that these guys died here. The, the thing exploded, what was I supposed to do? Oh man, that guy's head came off. Woo! Oh, look at all this free food that they were carrying around and didn't give to me. That was nice of them, wasn't it? Okay, so, well, I know there's another raid coming, and I know everything's a mess, but I think I am going to have to end this episode here. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching, and tune in next time to see what happens with the, uh, with the, with the hospitals full, and dead bodies everywhere, and we're going to get raided again. So, this is not going to be fun. But... Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.